James know I love Yaddy Smoothies. Hello everybody, it's Paul Nisa with the Raw Life Health Show and we are back in the kitchen and people are always asking me about smoothies or what I eat and what smoothies they can make and so on. Well, uh, I make a drink called a bahini and I absolutely, not only me, but I worked at a raw food restaurant in New York City and bahini was one of the most popular things on the menu. And what is a bahini? Well, bahini is one of the best smoothies you'll ever have. And we have this for breakfast quite often. It's one of our first meals. And I don't eat breakfast as soon as I get up out of bed. No, I'm up for about uh, two to three hours and I'm drinking, I drink about 32 ounces of water before I even get in the kitchen, pretty much. So, uh, but when we get in the kitchen, this is what we make. I love almond milk. I love other types of smoothies and I love juicing. And I switch off between juicing and doing smoothies. And sometimes I'll just eat fruit right off the trees outside. But today we're making a smoothie and this is how we do it. So now I'm not only making it for myself, so I'm making a little bit more. Uh, it's for my whole family, but I have here uh, about five bananas. And basically I'll peel the bananas here and I'll, I'll put them in the blender here. And I'm using the Vitamix blender. If you do this in other blenders, you want to just make sure if they're not as strong that uh, everything is, is cut up a little bit better. See, I'm putting a whole banana in. Another thing to uh, keep in mind is if bananas are going bad, like these bananas are very ripe right now, they have brown spots on them, a green banana or a completely yellow banana is not a ripe banana, it's an unripe banana. Uh, a banana should have spots and this is like a perfectly looking ripe banana. Uh, but uh, if I had too much bananas, what I could do is freeze them. Bananas are one of the foods that freeze very well. I'm not a big fan of eating foods that are, are cooked or frozen even. Uh, but in these cases, uh, I'd rather have the frozen bananas than no bananas at all for this smoothie. So that's four. And then I'll put one more in. And when I do this one, I'll give you another trick. Traditionally, we think the top of the banana or we think this is the top of the banana. It's actually the bottom of the banana because the banana grows out of the, uh, the banana grows this way. So what we, when we take it off, we traditionally open it from the top. Uh, actually, if you open it from the bottom, it's a little bit better. That's just a little trick there. So we have our bananas in here and I try to get organic bananas as much as I can, uh, but we use those. The next thing I'm gonna do is we are going to take tahini. Now tahini is uh, raw sesame uh, seeds and pretty much grounded down into a butter. So if you think about peanut butter, well this is tahini butter and it says organic uh, raw sesame tahini and it's from Living Tree Community Foods. I have this on rawlife.com. You can get tahini traditionally at any Middle Eastern store. However, 98% of the times it's, it's cooked or processed in some way. Reason being is even though it's raw, the machines heat up so high that it's like cooking it. Well, this company Living Tree or uh, Community Foods they have a whole line of raw nut butters and they have the tahini. They even have a black sesame tahini, but sesame seeds are so wonderful. We got bananas that are high in potassium, but sesame seeds are high in calcium. So this is a great nutritious breakfast people are always asking about. Now uh, I'm just gonna take about, uh, again, this isn't just for myself, it's for my whole family, but I took here about uh, maybe two tablespoons of tahini. So I got that. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add one of my favorite, favorite ingredients. And this is another company that makes nut butters. And I'm a big fan of eating things as fresh as possible and things that aren't in bags, box containers, or cans. Uh, these two things are definitely an exception. The nut butters, like the almond butter and also the tahini. You can make these things at home, uh, but sometimes you want to grab something quick. I know these companies, I know they're raw, so I'm very familiar with them. So in this case, it's okay. This is another company called Artistana and they have a whole line of raw nut butters as well. This one is a coconut butter. I'm a big fan of coconuts, and not just coconut oil, but coconut butter, which is like the coconut meat or the coconut flesh. In my yard right now, I have a bunch of coconuts that I just picked off a tree, and I cut them open, and if I had the time or if I wanted to, I would cut the coconut open and take that flesh out and put it right in here itself. Uh, but this here, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take uh, some of this here and it is delicious. I'm going to take about a tablespoon of that coconut butter and it has a sweet fatty consistency which goes along perfect with the bananas because it balances it out great so when you drink it it's not too much sugar getting into the system too fast. Uh, the coconut will slow it down a little and so will the tahini and uh, people will say well there aren't too much sugar in there it's just bananas. 
Well, uh, I could eat just bananas and be totally fine. Uh, I like dried fruit like dates to put in here and that definitely helps. However, my wife prefers uh, honey. So we got some raw honey that somebody had contacted me uh, over the internet and uh, I definitely made sure it's raw because even if it says raw, it's not always raw. But this is truly raw honey and I'll take about a tablespoon of raw honey here and I'll put that in here. So we got our raw honey, is that ingredient? Now, I can keep it simple and just stop it there, but I like to do two other things. One thing I, three other things. One thing I'm going to add is some Celtic sea salt here. Uh, so I'm going to put a little bit of, uh, just a pinch of salt here. And that just, I like that flavor and I think the minerals uh, in the salt will help as well. Uh, the next thing I'm going to add is, uh, my wife loves this one, is just a little bit of bee pollen. Uh, so. Now people always traditionally say, where do you get your vitamin B12 or just vitamin B, B vitamins in general? B pollen, even though it's B from the B, bzzz, there are B vitamins in here and it's a good thing as well. I guess I'm not a vegan, I'm a vegan, uh, but we have that here. Again, when I traditionally make this in uh, my, the raw food restaurant I work in, I use just dates, bananas, and tahini, and, and that was it. Uh, so I, I just changed it up a little. And then the last thing I'm going to put in here is uh, I always try to get something green in what I'm doing. I always want to get something green. So let me just grab a spoon here. I always try to get something green in what I'm doing. So here today our green is Barley Max powder. And uh, Barley Max basically is barley sprouts in, in a low temperature. Uh, they're, they're just powder down and I'm going to put a little barley max in there so now it's getting green in there. So I'm getting something green so now I have my greens, I have my sweetness, I have my energy for the day and I got my fats that will last me throughout the day and make sure the sugar's not coming in too fast. And then one of the special ingredients that really makes a difference with this is some ice. I'm going to put some ice cubes in here and generally uh, you want to eat things that are room temperature not too hot or not too cold and, and, and that's the ideal. Uh, but when you're making a smoothie, if it's a little cooler or colder, that's fine. Uh, so I got everything in here. Now, depending on the amount of water I put in, for example, if I had frozen bananas instead of these regular bananas, I could actually make banana ice cream by just blending this up and in a Vitamix that has this stopper here and it would come out like a cream where I wouldn't be able to pour it. I'd have to actually eat it with a spoon and be delicious. And you could do that also by adding something blueberries or, or strawberries or things like that you can add to this. That'll be wonderful. But today we, we don't have frozen bananas and even if you had frozen bananas, if you put more water in, it can come out like a thick smoothie that you can drink and you don't have to eat it with a spoon. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add some water to it. We're going to blend it up and we're going to try it. So. So I just added it with the water and uh, since there's a lot of ingredients in here, especially the five bananas and I do want to drink it, I don't want it to be too thick. I, I, I filled it up with a good amount of water. I put maybe uh, two to three cups of water in here. It looks like more because of all the stuff that's in there. I got that on here and now I'm just going to blend it up and this, kids love this, everyone loves this. I mean, we just really enjoy this uh, smoothie here. So I'm going to blend it up here in a Vitamix. I'm going to start off slow. So basically that's it. And another thing I really love to do is sometimes I'll go in my yard and I'll get some meringue or katuk leaves uh, and throw it right in there and then it's a true green smoothie. Uh, but you, if you have spinach, you can put the spinach in there. But this is a wonderful bahini smoothie and, and it's something I definitely uh, recommend everyone experience, especially if you have children, they love it. So now basically I'm going to pour this out and it's a green yellowish banana type of, of color. Now, here's the tricky part, everybody. If I drank this just like this because of my mustache, it would be all over the place. So I got this wonderful, beautiful straw, a thick smoothie straw. Big difference. It's a smoothie straw, so it's thicker. I mean, it, 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 it's bigger, and I could drink it. All right, everybody, there you go, Bahini. If you have any comments or questions, post them below the video. This is Paul Neeson with the Raw Life Health Show. Glad to be back in the kitchen. Have a great day and a great raw life. Okay, now Noah's gonna taste the smoothie. Say hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. You love smoothies? Uh, um, Daddy, could you make a yellow smoothie? Yes, we made a yellow smoothie here today. So try that here, yeah, back up, and let's show everybody. What do you think?
What do you think? Good. Yummy for your tummy? Yeah.